Hello everybody and welcome back into the Bear's Den for our midweek look at what I've got growing on upstairs. I am very pleased to announce that all of the varieties of peppers that I picked up from White Hot Peppers have sprouted and are now chilling out in the nursery box. We'll take a look at those in a second. But that means there's not a lot on the seed tray right now, so that'll be real quick. Let's start there and we'll move around the room. Alright, so I've still got that one scotch bonnet that I don't think is actually going to sprout for me. I got these Space Chili HJ4. Got these from Reservation Fire there. Many thanks to you. And I, I guess I stand corrected because the chocolate bootla hasn't quite sprouted yet either. But otherwise, all of the seeds that I picked up from uh, White Hot Peppers are sprouted and down there in the bright little nursery box. Let's turn that off and take a look. So another run of pepper seedlings because I just can't stop myself from planting more. Let's take a look at a few of these ones we've got in here. The 7 JPN. Looks like two of those are doing pretty darn well. One of them's kind of questionable. What's this dry looking cup? It's another scotch bonnet. These guys are giving me lots of grief. All right, let's find another one in here. Here we have the Fatali Gourmet Jigsaw. Three out of three sprouted in there, so that's excellent. Looking forward to uh, finding out more about those peppers in a while, but you know, all things in time. The Naga Black. These were the first ones that sprouted up for me. Definitely curious to find out more about these. Long way to go. Let's look at some more advanced things in the room though. Seedlings are just seedlings after all. So moving around to the workstation then, you can see I didn't put that new light here. It's over on the shelf. Not quite happy with it, but it's over there all the same. I still have my little pests in here, but I've cleaned off all the diatomaceous earth and coming in here squishing the heck out of these buggers every chance I get. Getting a few less of them though. I've gotten to play in a machine shop for the last few days, so that's kind of fun. Anyway, here we have my avocado. Unfortunately, Got this brown spot on the leaf here, but I don't think I was watering this anywhere near enough. As uh, Sir Cracker pointed out to me, a lot of people, you know, myself included, kind of forget that they're sprouted in a cup of water, so clearly they need to be watered a lot. It's that little lemon tree. Very curious to see what's going to happen with this. Never uh, really had a citrus tree growing in my house before, and, you know, why not a lemon? It's a very pale green going on with the leaves on this red currant bush. I think it might be time to give this one a little bit of fertilizer. I'm thinking maybe some something with a little of the nitrogen in it. Don't know for sure. I'll look it up though, find out first. And down here we've got the little blue. Aside from it's now got a few of those pests on it, it seems very happy to be inside. And the snake plant now has a second little one coming up so I'm hoping maybe there'll be a third one around here by next week that would be super cool I'd love to see this thing just like fill up with that plant fantastic they look great when they're a little crowded you know over here we can see the black lace elderberry cutting is just doing fantastic it's the older growth that gets that purpley kind of color so I'll be curious to see if this changes before next spring or indoor growth will all be green who knows the asparagus is just so sad over here my mango, it's green, it looks like green in a positive way, so I'm going to take that as a good thing. The purple freak over here in need of some love. What do we have here? It's just a yellow fatale, struggling a little bit. Then in the freezer bag we've got those seeds for the African sundew, nothing sprouting up in there from what I could see. We'll just pan over this quickly and then I'll go on individual plants, but I ended up putting the new light there. That's the 16 watt that's the 12 watt. I like the spread on the 12 watt a lot better but in all fairness this isn't hanging in quite the same fashion so I'm gonna try adjusting the shelves and see if I still like the 12s better or not but that surprises me I was really thinking that the 16 would be fantastic. Let's take a look at some of these individual peppers growing under those 12s. So here's a fun one this is the uh, Hungarian yellow wax I only kind of replanted this because the seed package got wet and I figured, you know, why waste them? But I guess it's decided it's not going to be outdone by the super chili. Because even though it's got these little pests on it, it's throwing up buds like it thinks it's going to try and produce some fruit. So that'd be cool. That's a few different peppers now that are uh, at least trying for me. Speaking of the super chili, though, this is uh, 
kind of blowing me away. Decent little canopy on this thing. It's just such a tiny plant, but there are so many little flower starts on there. Well, and those little buggers too. I think I definitely am going to order those ladybugs in the next week or so. Now that I've got all of the diatomaceous earth off of there, still haven't built that ladybug habitat, but I haven't seen that ladybug again either, so we shall see. I'm trying to keep my eye out for ladybug eggs though, so I'm not, not squishing them, right? Just these white little pests. But anyway, super chilly. Looking pretty darn good. Not a super hot though. Let's see if we can find a super hot for our next one. So here's an example of one of the Trinidad Scorpion Reds that I've got going. I did decide to top this so that I could hopefully get more clones out of them in the future. And they're starting their little branches soon. I'm not quite sure at what point I should start cutting off these larger leaves. But uh, it definitely seems to be sp sprouting those branches. So that's cool little bush. Here we've got uh, a couple of little Carolina Reapers that I was sent. Seem to be struggling but on their way. Not doing too bad. Gonna need to transplant these guys into their own cups soon. And I guess for our last pepper on this particular visit we'll take a look at this one here. This thing has suffered greatly along the way but still seems to be fighting right along. This is the Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea Red. I am amazed, um, frankly, how big these leaves are. don't think I've ever grown a pepper with such big, broad leaves before. So, really looking forward to seeing how this looks once we get it healthy again. I washed off all the pepper plants and their leaves last week. And it looks like I need to do it again this week, probably tomorrow. Today's pretty busy, but it seems to have slowed these pests down a little bit, and that at least is a good start. But as I said, you know, now that I've got the diatomaceous earth all washed off all the plants and, uh, you know, I'm starting to get a few hours here and there, I, I think I'm probably just going to end up ordering those ladybugs, letting them loose, building a habitat. I know when we found those ladybugs last fall that just kind of randomly showed up in the house. It made a big difference to the bug population while they were around. Looks like the same kind of pests to me, so I'm pretty sure ladybugs will will do the trick for me in here. So either way, it's always fun to have ladybugs around. They say they're good luck, right? Maybe that's an old gardener's thing. I'll have to look into that. Anywho, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here. I have had an absolutely fantastic day. Sorry for cutting it a little bit short. I'm a little bit bagged. I hope you all enjoyed the visit and I will definitely see you next weekend because it turns out our anniversary is on like Tuesday. So yeah, weekend's good to go. I will see you then. Take care everybody.